What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1715, count apples and oranges. Mark this medium, let's get into it. So we have two tables, one called boxes and one called chests. These all contain some sort of fruits, in this case apples and oranges. Boxes has a box ID, chest ID, apple count and orange count. Each box may contain a chest which also contain oranges and apples. So chests are inside boxes and chests don't have anything inside them apart from fruit. Chests, the table chests, contains a chest ID, apple count and orange count. Our task is to write an SQL query to count the number of apples and oranges in all the boxes. If a box contains a chest, you should also include the number of apples and oranges it has. We can return the result table in any order and it should look something like this. Apple count and orange count, not per box or per chest for the entire amount of boxes we have here. So let's get into coding that up. So let's maybe go through an example to understand exactly what is happening here. We have boxes which has a box ID which would be the biggest storage unit and that can contain a chest ID. It doesn't have to contain a chest but it can. Now boxes already have apples and oranges in there and then chests in there can have more apples and oranges which are denoted in the chests table. So for box ID 2 we have a chest ID of null meaning there's no chest in that box but that box still contains 6, six apples and 15 oranges. Now for box ID 18 this one has a chest in there being chest ID 14 and the apple count for that box is 4 and the orange count is 15. Now if you look up chest ID 14 in the chest table, this one has 20 apples and 10 oranges. So if you want to know how many apples and oranges are in box 18, we need to take 4 apples, add 20 apples to that because the chest 14 is also in that box and then add 10 oranges to the 15 that are already in the box. Now, knowing this and that some boxes don't contain a chest, we can start coding up our solution. Now it should be pretty obvious that we need to join the information in boxes and chests in order to be able to calculate the entire amount of apples in boxes and chests. The thing is, we're not going to use a regular join because some boxes may not contain any chests. And if we were to join on chest ID, we would only get boxes that have a chest ID in there. And in the case of box ID 2, we have a chest ID of null that wouldn't match anything in the chest table and we would lose that box. So if we join, it's not going to show up in there since we weren't able to make a join on the chest ID. So we're going to use a left join here to join all chests to all boxes that have a chest and then also keep all boxes that don't contain a chest which is exactly what we want. So let's just select star for now from boxes left joining oranges, uh, left joining chests on the chest ID. So boxes.chest ID should be chests.chest ID. Let's just see what that gives us. A lot of information in there. We can see that we keep our row with box ID 2, having a bunch of null values in there, and then all the other ones as well. Looking good. So we have app count and orange count for both box ID and chest ID, and we see that box ID or chest ID is matching in these, which would be these. Oh, it's hard to hard to mark these here, but we have 14 and 14 as a chest ID for box 18, and we have 3 and 3 for box ID 19. So that works. Let's see what we would get if we used a regular join to kind of prove my point. We would lose out on box ID 2 as I mentioned, and we wouldn't be able to count these apples and oranges, which would give us 
which would leave us with the wrong solution. So now it's about counting up the amount of apples and oranges actually. So we're going to remove our star here and think about what we actually need to do. So we need to sum up the apple count and orange count and we have two separate columns for that. So let's start out with apple count. So let's take the apple count from boxes and add the apple count from chests. Let's call that apple count as well because that's how the output should look like and that's already a great start. So now what we need to do is if we have a null value for either of these we need to somehow correct that. So the function I use in MySQL is callesc which allows you to just fill null values with zero values which we're able to sum up. So we're going to do that for chests. We don't need to do that for boxes since those always come, yeah, these are never null because that's the left side of the left join. So by definition it shouldn't be null. If you want to make sure data comes in in the right way you could put it here as well but that should work. Okay, so let's run that, see if it works. So it does give us 6, 24, 27, 27, which are the respective counts. So we have 6 for box ID 2, because this one doesn't have a chest in there. And then for 18, we have 4 plus 20, being 24. Now we should just get a single value, but let's just, for now, take care of the orange count, which should be very similar. Just exchange apple count for orange count and that should give us two columns but still too many rows we just want one row so what we're going to do is we're just going to sum that up and that should give us what we want so let's put a sum function around here we don't need to group by anything since we want to calculate that for all boxes everything we have pretty much Otherwise, we would have a group by at the end of the statement, maybe group by boxes or box ID, so we know how many apples and oranges are in each box, but that's not what they want. They want the entire count of apples and oranges in all boxes and chests. So let's run that. This should be called orange count, not apple count. And that's an accepted output. And if we submit that, it's also an accepted solution and that's pretty much it for that problem. I think it's a really nice one because it actually does make sense. It's like a math school task you would get of actually counting up apples and oranges and you might stumble upon a task like this in a logistic company or Amazon might ask something like this so I think it's a good question to take a look at. Anyways, that's been it for me today. I have a lot more of these videos on this channel. And if you want to study medium problems in particular, I have a playlist for all medium lead code database problems that I made videos for on this channel. And I also have one for easy and hard and just all of them overall. So you should find a lot more to study if you're open to do that. And otherwise, you can also always just subscribe and see new videos coming in to remind you to keep studying and crack these analytical coding interviews. See you all next time.